Hello, fair maiden, and welcome now to Tuesday. Well, sunny nesting and resting for a second day in a row is my prediction for the virgins of the zodiac. The moon, which focuses our emotions, is focusing yours on home, family, and foundation issues for another 24 hours. This is an excellent time to mother yourself, to connect with your family members, to make peace with roommate situations, and to emotionally invest in the sanctity of your home to make it nicer, to so put some effort into your home, do a little gardening, you'll find you feel much more grounded if you do so. So big round of the sun in Aries, as you well know Virgo, it is about intimacy and boundaries issues this month. Virgos are reestablishing their boundaries for 2009. We're in chapter three now of sun in Aries, and today Venus is ruling the day. That means today is an excellent day to create this new boundary system. So you can take this to literal and create some intimacy, but you can also create some new laws for yourself and when people get in and when people don't get in. The creation vibration is the best day to create something new. You'll find if you create it today, it will stick later. That's the nice fortune of Venus. Then lastly, I want to talk about Mercury. As I said a couple days ago, Mercury has now advanced into Taurus. Mercury is our intellectual focus. For Virgos, your intellectual focus has now moved to your overall philosophies in life, your religion, your belief structure. But Mercury is in a double trine right now. Watch the zodiac weather to see the map. It is right now trining both retrograde Pluto in Capricorn and retrograde Saturn in Virgo. That means that you're going to be comparing and contrasting three areas of your life simultaneously. And what those play out to be are your overall beliefs in life and philosophies, your personal inner child, so whether or not you can be creative or not be creative, if you're on your personal dream path or not dream path, and your ego. So how your ego relates, how your dreams are manifesting, and how your beliefs play into that. That'll be for the next few days. And it's important because next month when the sun moves into Taurus, you'll be actualizing some of this processing. All right, Virgin, that's all I have for the day. I'll see you tomorrow with Shout Out Wednesday. Live, love, be. So